Right then, we're off fishing. It's been a, it's been a, it's been about three or four weeks since I was last on the sea fishing scene. Um, head's been a little bit wobbly, you know what it's like. Anyway, I've got my oldest daughter out tonight, and it's not very often she comes out. She used to come fishing with me all the time when she was, I don't know, like seven, seven, eight, nine. She used to do loads of carp fishing and everything. And she said to me last night, Dad, I'll come fishing with you tomorrow, so we're off. Um, we're off to the Medi. Um, it's a really small tide tonight. Try to keep that camera still there. I'll make the idiot. <laughs> we're, um, it's a very small tide. Um, so we're going to hit the Medi. There's a concrete platform underneath Britannia Bridge. I fished it twice. The first time I had a conga from there. The second time I had a hus from there. But the current is absolutely crazy. I'm showing front because we're under the tunnels now. Right. Well, that, that way. That's that a... way. Oh, for God's sake! Come on. My camera back this way. Just chopping it. Excuse the shoddy camera womanship. Um, Stop bullying. I'm not bullying. You're bullying me. Let's try not. That's bullying. <laughs> anyway, we're going to try and catch some fish. Um, <coughs> target is. Obviously, doggies will be there. Uh, we're after Huss, Conga, um, very snaggy, very deep. Uh, it's going to be dark by the time we get back on the mark. Um, oh, we're going in the light. We're going to go back in the light. Now, we're coming out of the tunnel now. Um, yeah, so it should be a good one. Like I said, I've been out myself for a few weeks. Um, one finger and another and that, but I'm back out now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, look at the sun. Wow, look at the sunset coming. Whoa, get that on camera. I will, it's coming. A sunset people wow that is absolutely amazing that is absolutely amazing but right, we need to catch a fish for you tonight now or all these beautiful sunsets and all these big intros will mean absolutely jack shit <laughs> <laughs> right we need a fish tonight we need a fish tonight that sunset yeah is something else that is absolutely amazing uh, as i say this mark we're coming to of course a bullos from there it's a double figure odds on the second time I went there and the first time I went there I caught the conga from there and um, we fished it on big tides last time it's, it's got dark now, it looks typical but um, it normally fishes and because the tide's that small tonight it's an absolutely tiny tide I'm not expecting it to be rushing through so um, we should be along we're about, about an hour and a half off high now and um, we're still 10 or 15 minutes away it's probably a 20 minute walk there um, but feel confident we can have a bite or two, you know. Right, I just need to get to this mark now, because if we can get to the mark on the middle of the Menai where I'm going now, all that sunset still like that, you're going to see some of the best shots you'll probably ever see. But I've just got a feeling it's going to be dark, so... Come on, Freelander, turbo! Not to 60 in about 7.2 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> But she, laugh but she runs like an arse, she has no issues. <laughs> There's some, I need to admit it. 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 I because we are law-abiding citizens and road users, so we're slow straight down to 50. We're just putting your mittens on when you're driving. <laughs> well, let's get it, get it right lane, because fans are coming, and you've got to get it right lane. Eight people that stay in the left lane when, when people are cutting in. Absolute noddies. And then he said something else then. <laughs> right, we're coming up now. We are going to park. Not here. We're going to get into this lane now. We are going to park. You see that light by there? Got a green bin there, put it this way, kids, where I'm pointing. You don't have to zoom over there. Okay, and then put it back onto number one zoom. Number one. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, we're going to walk. We're literally fishing. On the, where that van is in front now, we're fishing right underneath there on the platform. But my daughter, dearest, now is not going to zoom in and start zooming in and out and going all jerky. No, 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 you're not going to do that. We need to do a video. Okay, how Keep it on number one. And we're going to be fishing down here on the left, so if I swing the car over here so you can have a closer look. Don't fall off. Have a look down there. And that is the mighty Menai, and we're going to be giving it a dabble. Um, yeah, and we'll just see what we can do, really, people. We're, we're after um, Huss, Conga. We'll take a doggy, to be fair. There's bass there. There's, in all fairness, the Menai throws up a bit of everything. I've got little rigs. I've got little f rigs, flappers and stuff for the, you know, the rass, the... The flat, 
that is the um, the rays and that. But I think I'm just going to go balls deep and um, put the um, put the big fish baits out because I, you know, I'm a go big or go home type of guy. Let's put the camera on me, Kez. And that a much better view. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the sunset's better. We're going to spin round now. This is where we turn, so I'll show you where we're going. Forward, Kez. Sorry if this video is a bit longer than it should be, but I'd rather show you where the bark is. And we're going to come back on ourselves now. We're coming from Angle Seaside now, back towards, oh back towards like Conway and that. If anybody's got a problem with me showing the mark, you can go suck it. Weep! Because <laughs> I like sharing, sharing is caring for me. Tesla. What size is that Tesla? Baby John loves them. He does, don't he? Have a look to the left as well. This is the swellies. This is that's the bridge we normally that that bridge over the back there. Is the, see uh, it. You see it. Hold, hold the, well, don't hold the phone low. Hold it. Oh, you might see over them. Yeah, <laughs> I tried that. That's the swellies down there. Good law fishing for bass and everything down there. We're going to be doing a lot there in the summer. Whoa. Anyway, yeah, there's a lot of fish to be had down there. We'll be doing a lot here this summer. Anyway, back on that way. Oh my god. Or this way. Whatever way. What are we doing? I'll do this way. Put it wherever you want. <laughs> I don't know where to put the camera. So we are going to park. Right, go forward now. There oh go. my god. We are going to... Right, this turn, we're going to walk through there in a minute. Look to the left now. Look in that gap. Go, 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 go. We're going to go through there. Boom! Yeah. We're going to park here. Delicious. You can always park at the first end of this parking space. You know, that's the distance of it. Actually, I always park by the bin. Why? when you bring all your smelly bait back and everything you can drop it in the bin before you leave right camera this way kids um do we just zoom yeah, out? We're here now i'm gonna get the stuff fine? out um we've got probably i don't know i'll show you the walk down anyway we've got probably a i don't know eight ten minute walk down uh we're gonna chuck some big bites in and uh if we can get a fish we've got a fish mike is currently fishing mike from that's a bite is currently fishing on pensan beach uh, we, we didn't finish work till late, so we couldn't make it all the way to the Menai, where I am now. Uh, I might be going to see him later, and if all fails here, we might hit a low water mark. I've got plenty of bait, plenty of gear, plenty of stuff. Um, I'm just going to try and catch a fish for you people. Um, but, as you all know, it's filmed as it is with me. You've seen you've seen every every way of this trip so far. Um, and we're just going to try and get a fish, so without further ado, because it's getting dark now. Oh, there's a police car. Do you know what they, them police are here for? You. would <laughs> <laughs> be about right, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's not a police. Ambulance. Or anyway, something. the police will never be here for me because I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> Stop laughing. I'm a good boy. <laughs> anyway, right, let's get this, get the stuff out of the car and uh, I'll show you what we get down next. I'd love to go down and see the sunset from there because you can see over the back now, it's looking a bit pink. You can't really see. Gingerish. Kind of <laughs> You're looking a bit gingerish. So right, cut that off. Cut. What have you done? <laughs> what have you done? I stood on your sandwich. Right. She has stood on the sandwich. That's it. That's that's what we're having for tea tonight. Daughter's having tuna and cucumber. I'm having a uh, ham and cheddar. <laughs> um, I don't know what you call it. Flat wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Flatbread. Right, let's get this right out of the car. Right, we've got to move, we've got to walk all up there. What have you done to it? See, if, if, if you can't have fishing trips with much laugh and banter like this, what are you asking? Looks like roadkill. <laughs> so, right, let's get this. We've got the drop net because, um, well, because um, we need it. Right, can you open that, Kiz? I've got. Yeah. Oh, my mackerel. Oh, what am I going to do with that? For God's sake. A bit of mackerel for squid. That's a, that's a bit soft. Stop it. <laughs> I've got some work. Sugar. Right, I need to get this stuff out of the car fast. I'm putting this one out, I don't need the tripod because we've got railings. I need. Me. Light for recording. <coughs> Definitely need two packs of mini eggs. Well, you can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm 
we need the rods. We're about an hour off high tide now. We've got about, I don't know, it's a decentish walk. And all these people here are thinking coming down this road, what the hell are these idiots doing? Well, let me get my layers on now. It's fishy! <laughs> it stinks. That's why I need my hoodie and my coat. Right, we're gonna catch a fish or what, daughter? Don't let me hang in. Let's do it. Right, so we're on our way now. This is my daughter. Chicago Bulls top, she's American. God damn! <laughs> right, she's carrying, what are you carrying? Oh, just that look, funny enough. Right, this is what I'm carrying. Everything. <laughs> right, let's get down to the mark, pass that phone. Yeah. And we're gonna head up here now. Just gonna walk up here. And uh, I'll show you where we're at. Right then, well, now we made it to the gate. I've always wanted to park here, to be fair, but it does say, it does say here, police vehicles only. And although my freelander ain't gonna cause no issues parked on that bit of grass there, I don't wanna take the pee, hence why she's all the way down there in the labor on the left. But it'd be so much easier to park here. <laughs> right, let's head down now. Do you wanna get that gate, girl? Trying to get that gate. Well, we should get there just before dark so we can have a look around. Can you lift that gate? Oh, yeah. Something's burning. I can smell a massive burning smell, you know. Something's stinking burning. Right, don't forget to lock it back up. Good. <laughs> I feel like you falling over. I love these fishing trips. Absolutely brilliant. This is like a serial killer place. What is that? That's somebody walking a dog. Right, better cut the camera off or I'm going to look like a pervert recording these. So I'll see you when we get past them. <laughs> so just as we're coming under the bridge now, you've got some of the old stone works here. And a lot of people don't know about these lions. Because obviously the level of the road is up there. Them lions are from the old bridge. There's a lot of history about these lions. There's another one on the other side as well. They've got to be what? Bloody hell, looking at them now. If I zoom back out, I'm here. I don't even know about that big. They've got to be 20, 40 foot high. 20, 30, 40 foot high stone carvings. I might go and have a close look one of the days. But they're absolutely huge. You don't see them from the road. Um, there's a lot of history about that stuff. There's a lot of history about the way the bridge was built as well. I watched the program on um, ITV4. And it's built in box sections um, because of the, the, well, the strongest way it is. Right, this is the way the bridge was built. Um, oh, really? I watched the programme on it. It's built out of those box sections, or at least the old bit was. There was a, there was a fire on it that caused a lot of damage. You can see it all on YouTube. There's, There's a, a little plaque thing there. I don't know if that says anything. Yeah, we'll, we'll go and have a look at the plaque in a minute. But uh, that was the old box section because, um, you know, the, the programme is so interesting if anybody's into that stuff. Why is it here then? Because that's just like a. Memorial. Well, not a memorial, but yeah, I suppose the bridge died when it burned. But that's what they. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, that's how that's how it was built originally, and they realised that the box section had the strongest joints with the squares underneath and at the top. Um, well, that was the old one underneath. No, obviously everything goes across the top now. And so there's so much to um, learn around here. I you're not going to really read a lot of that because it needs a good clean. Oh, what a place. What do you reckon, 15 minutes to get down here, Kez? Yeah, look what he's making me carry. It's about time you got done doing something. You're getting paid for the filming tonight. He's getting paid for the carrying. <laughs> right, here we are. Whoa. Wow. It's a bit like, weird. Whoa. Why is nobody here? Look at this. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get set up quickly. Wow! <laughs> wow! Set up the same time. We've got the entire mark to ourselves. And it's about 80 foot and about two rod lengths out there. It just goes fuck off <laughs> straight down. Look. I wouldn't advise anybody to go in there. Right, we're going to get this camera off. Safety first. Safety first. We've got all this to ourselves. Wow. <laughs> right, let's get these rods set up because I want to get fishing people. So the first thing is get the droplet in. This is my new Tronics Pro one. Uh, folds in half. 
absolutely massive. Well, that case keep in shot nice and still, you know, the girl, the, know. the girl, the drop. <laughs> so what I'm going to do first is quickly sling this over. Wow. Wow. So I thought there was a dog, it scared me. There's no dog, I'm going to over here. <laughs> Hope it'll drop your phone. I'm just going to quickly tie that on there. Just in case, because I got caught out before with a drop net. Um, that's there now, just ready. So if anything comes up, and lift it up. Um, to be fair, <laughs> I'm really excited about this. Just want that one bite, that one big bang, and see if we can get something, because um, we deserve it. Set up. Let's get them in. Ciao. So this is the first rod going in, being super quick. It's a pulley panel. The bait. It's just a big squid bait, very big bait. And uh, I'm using a big lead because I know the current can be a bit rough here. But that, that is literally what's going in now. Right then, let's get that squid bait in, and I'll set the other bait up on a big mackerel. Um, what you been doing? What my sandwich? My flat sandwich. Do you know what it is? It's flatbread. <laughs> Looks like a crock, doesn't it, look? <laughs> yeah, you can have a sandwich. Right, we're going to get that squid bait in. You know, it don't matter, does it? Like, dad and daughter type on a venue like this, yeah? It, it really, really don't matter if you catch anything. If I stand on don't matter if you stand on my sandwich. That's what it's all about, getting out. So I'll be honest, the last couple of weeks, I've been in a bit of a dark place again. Without saying too much, a bit of a really, really bad place. Very bad, to be honest. Just like getting out tonight, just coming up here and having a drive with a daughter and doing a bit of fishing. Like I can instantly feel like how, I don't know, I just feel like me again. <laughs> Need to fish a lot more. Need to fish a lot more. But anyway, let's get this bait in. And, uh, you know, I'll take a, I'll take a crab or a lobster now, to be fair. We just need to fish. <laughs> a lobster. A lobster. I'll take a lobster. <laughs> let's get these rods in. Keep your eyes on that tip case while I set the other rod up. Right, first rod's in. It's always nice to get a rod in. It's always nice. It'd be nice for it now just to go, what dong? <laughs> get up them my way, straight over. McDonald's milkshake. I need a Big Mac meal, chicken nuggets, cheese bites, and everything on the way home, followed by a kebab when we get closer. <laughs> but uh, now it's going to be over rig shark ready now. As soon as the first rod's in, you can slow down a little bit then, that's what I find. It's just getting like, just making sure you're fishing. So we're, on, we're coming up to about high water now, in all fairness. We could have done with being here probably an hour or two before we was, but commitments, work and all that changes things, doesn't it? No. Work before play. Don't tell them to stop ordering. <coughs> work before play and all that. Did you hear it? It sounded like a pelican, didn't it? <laughs> anyway, the way the rig sharks go, I'm sure I've showed you this time and time again. Go on to your rod. Clip, clip, and there you go. Ding, 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 ding. Do we pulling this out of the bag, to be honest? Don't think I've caught a hush this year. Don't, I don't, don't, don't think I've caught a conger this year. In all fairness, <laughs> I don't think I've caught much at all this year. And I've got Mike and his pal on um, Pensarn Beach, which is literally five minutes from my house. And they invited me to go down there. And I was like, no, I'm coming here. I'm coming here. I'm being headstrong. I'm just thinking now, are them lads gone there and they're smashing the bass and stuff? I might actually give Mike a video call soon on camera. And record, yeah. and record it for you. And um, see how we're going. So I, I took the plunge today to drive an extra, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes up here. Because I thought, or hoped, that this would uh, give me a big fish. But... Is my phone alright in that box? Yeah. But so far... <laughs> it's anything give me a bite. <laughs> That's not a bite. That's not a bite, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my mackerel is still froze solid. Here we go, look. Ready? Ice coming off it. Right, where's my scissors? 
Well, what are we going to do? Well, I've just put a simple... Chop his head off. Chop his bloody head off. Just put a simple running rig on this one. Yeah. Um, we got... Is uh, an 80 pound snood. Which all is I'm going to do on this... I thought I had a bite then, I'll move the other rod. All is I'm going to do on this is just hook that through. Just like that. Just leave that bad boy like that. And all we've got here is about, I don't know, 20 inch, two foot of rig body. And we've got a simple running lead on a, on a running clip. I'm just going to shut that in. That's all we're going to do. How long have you been fishing? Well, that's just on the simple runner, so when something picks the mackerel up, it'll go slide the leads. We're going to chuck that in now, and that's going to be on the right rod. Um, in all fairness, I was expecting bites off doggies, white in or something by now. There's literally nothing. Uh, nothing at all, to be honest. I was expecting a little bit of action, I ain't going to lie. Um, <laughs> there's absolutely nothing. But we, we, well, we crack on and we can't go. We're going to give it an hour or two. Um, and see if anything, he's going to pick this big bad boy up. Both rods are in. Gamekeeper John is ready to go and pull out a whopper. <laughs> the only whopper I'm having is from Burger King on the way home. <laughs> Watch you don't fall over, John. Well, that was very close from knocking all my teeth out on the railing. <laughs> Slipped, yeah. Wow, that squid has been in for probably the best part of an hour. It's not been touched. Now that's a bit fishy. <laughs> <laughs> right, I did just video call Mike. Um, for some reason, the sound is not recorded. Um, you can probably see him in shot now on screen. Um, but basically I played him up like hell I was like I've just had a 14 and a half pound us he was like you're joking you're joking I went nah <laughs> didn't um, he's just had his first bite in Pensar and I'm tempted to chuck the stuff in the car now and shoot down to them but the tide's that small tonight by the time I get there it won't be fishable but I don't know where to go and meet up with him or not oh yeah Mike also said one more thing what's that he said subscribe to oh yeah Mike said subscribe to that bite. I don't know why I've not got the audio I've just checked the clip back but I was screen recording a video chat with him. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened, but um, they've had nothing. Um, well, I've got about an hour's fishing here. Or I can go and meet up with the boys and go closer to, to home. See Mike. I think we should get some. I don't know where to go and get some food and just go, go and have some. Get go, a kebab. Get, get some. Eat it before we get Mike. <laughs> <laughs> go and get some food, have some banter with the lads, and then make the video that way. When really, any other fisherman who wants to do a fishing video should say, Listen, we're here now, we need to catch a fish. I'm like, you know, I'm sure the people would rather see kebabs, banter and food. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to have another cast. Like half an hour more from them. I'm going to have another cast, but we're probably going to go and catch up with the boys in a bit. Can't believe that's like, that, that's not been touched, that squid. That's bad, that is. It's a bit, it's a bit like a kick in the goonies. <laughs> so that should have been smashed. That's like pudding, yeah. Actually, I can't say my daughter's there. But what I was going to say... <laughs> I still can't say. Adios. <laughs> Bit of a gambler type guy. That botched up, battered squid that was on there. I've literally just stuck this bit on it. <laughs> I've just stuck that bit on it. Oh but the, the up point, he's still proud. I just took loads of bits of squid. I'm just going to send it. I'm just going for a big conga. Showing him the thing. You're showing him the lead? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've got a big dirty 12 ounce on there as well. <laughs> if you know me, you know I don't go small people. I'm a, I'm a go big or go home type of guy. <laughs> Look at that for a bait. So we're gonna so we're gonna send this one about 100 yards now, sod it. But no, then you have to swim after it. Oh, it's wrapped around. Oh, off, off up the gate and everything. This is not going good, is it? <laughs> no. 
Every time you bring me, you just catch nothing and everything goes bad. I think you're bad luck. Lexi's good luck, so I catch stuff with Lexi. Every time I bring you, we don't. Right, we need to break this rock tonight. Okay? I don't know, black cats gravitate towards me. Black cats good luck. Right, here we go. The current's starting to pick up now. We're fishing in some major flow there. Look at the rod bending round. And the wind. Oh no, this could be a game over type of night. No! It's fine, we, we have loads of places. We have the kebab shop, we've done. <laughs> <laughs> we have to have B&C. Kebab shop. Like far for like daughter, you know that. <laughs> Too bad the bakery's over. <laughs> The rod's bending in the current. It's oh. only a small tide tonight, this shouldn't be happening. Is it not bad luck? Well, like, not bad luck, but you're like. What time, what time is it? Seven? I reckon no, I can it's be. It's not seven, it's more like half seven. I reckon seven. I can be with Mike for eight oh. o'clock. Oh, it's only seven thirteen. Oh, that current's picking up massively. Right, we're gonna we're gonna have to gonna play this by ear, to be fair, people. Cross that current fingers. is like bending that bloody rod round now, yeah? Cross your fingers. Oh, I don't want to not catch a fish from here. I don't want to say this. I've never blanked here. Oh, sh oh no. I've said it, and I. Yep, that's it. Done. Swipe our rods away now, the current. Look, it's even getting faster now. Yeah, it's starting to pick it's up. It's literally just got faster as you said that. I'm going to change the bait on the right one because I, I don't want to jack it. Okay. I don't want to jack. Subscribe. Now we're into a snag. Ah, it's all going tits up, people. He jinxed it. Is I'd go down to Mike and fish the beach for an hour, but the rigs and the stuff I've got on are no good for the beach. I'm fishing for like congas and us down in um down in Pensar and it's like white and a little bass and flatties and that. Send it. Go. Uh what to do? Uh, go for a cup half. I'm not even hungry, I just ate Pringles and a sandwich, so I'm fine. I should just call this channel, yeah. Gamekeeper John's Blanking sessions. <laughs> <laughs> Eating adventures. <laughs> you could do a mukbang. Do you know what a mukbang is? No. So they get like a big tray of food and they have to eat it all as like not as fast as they can, but like yeah, yeah. ASMR kind of. I could never do that. I get full of like peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I brought them. I was like, if I get, if I'm starving, I can just have like five now before. Oh, I don't know what time Mike's going to be now. <coughs> I know I could be with Mike in 45 <clears throat> minutes. I think we should just go. Because it'll be fun entertainment as well, wouldn't it? Because I don't want to just stand there watching us like. Yeah, but the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, Kizzy, yeah? Right, come here, come in the camera, come here. Don't mind my outfit, I'm cold. Right, we are making a fishing video, yeah? So. Good. Right, my hairline's showing. What, if, if, <laughs> if we are making a fishing video, what do we need to catch? Yeah. Kebab. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fish. Yeah? Yeah. That's like doing a cooking programme with no food. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or doing a racing car program with no cars. <laughs> just race. Or doing a... Uh... Why don't we just go buy some fish and say we caught them? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, right. Cut. <laughs> right. Look what we just caught. <laughs> I just had this mackerel. Straight from Antarctica. <laughs> Look at that absolute cracker. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I reckon if I put it like that... It's almost as big as your Eight pound? Eight, nine pound? That's massive, that. It's a bit cold, so we oh still throw solid, yeah? Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, look at Global him. Global warming and that. That's an absolutely cracking mackerel I've just had. Right, it's the end of the video, guys. All right, so we, we've not blanked, yeah? Thanks for watching, subscribe. <laughs> <and that. laughs> subscribe and all that. Let's go and see Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Adios. I was a girl in the village doing all right. And I became a princess overnight. Now I gotta figure out how to do it right. So much to learn and see. Don't want to not catch a fish, you know.
Then you're going to have to leave there, aren't you? <laughs> Look how that's towing through now as well. I'll come and show you people. Okay. It's um, it's absolutely bloody ripping through there now, to be honest. I think we should let you. Look how bent it is at the top is all bad load. Yeah, the rod's ooping over, look. More bent than a banana. The drop net's like going at sort of that <laughs> angle. And if you look oh at it. Oh my god, you can see the bottom of the ocean, man. Well, not the bottom, but you know, like the side. Yeah, it's uh. That's... Oh, wait, we might see a shark, don't we? Can I pull it? Drops well deep, though, but them rocks, look. I don't think, I don't know. I think it we're going to... It feels a bit sketchy. I think we're going to have to call this, you know. This part. I think we're going to have to call it. It's showing his number on the screen. Right, I'm not going to show Mike's number. Oh, now you see my Harry Styles stickers. Harry Styles. <laughs> that's, his, <laughs> that's his phone, guys. Right, you record this, right. Okay. Mike's going to be laughing his head off now because we've been wiped out on both rods. We've been snagged. I've, got, <laughs> I've got put one back in, but it's, the rod's just bent over. Mike said, don't go there, too snaggy, the current will ripe you out. Mike's always right. Mike was right, so now... Just don't show the phone, because his oh, number does. What's, what's, your, what's your pin? Um, 1905. Oh, that's no good, you just put that out to 60,000 people. <laughs> Fine, nobody should get close enough to change the phone. It. I'll right, change it. You know? Dad, you're showing his number on the screen. Right, I won't show his number on the screen. I'm keep it that way. Hello? You alright, Mike? How are you, mate? Alright, mate, we're coming to see you soon, mate. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're getting wiped. Getting we're getting wiped out every cast, mate. Mate, the rod's just <laughs> bent into the side. Yeah, the leads are literally floating on top of the water. Oh, hey, 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 stop, 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 stop. Go on. What did I say to you about an hour ago? From, no, earlier on. What did I say to you about that mark? You're gonna get wiped out. <laughs> I said, as soon as that tide changes. You're going to get wiped out. So when I could have got there at half six, seven o'clock when the tide changes, <laughs> there's no point because I get wiped out. Yeah, I yeah. Oh, it's all right. It's only a five metre tide. It won't change that much. I said, okay, we'll see. It's Ma swelling. You know, and you Ma will call I, me I, now. I, I, I chucked... You're getting wiped out. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I chucked a 12 ounce gripper about 30 yards out, yeah? It's now down the left yeah. margin, floating on top in the current. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> right, we're going to pack off. I'll tell you what, since, since you've been so much of a noddy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm welcome on this beach. <laughs> <laughs> have you caught anything? I've had, I've had a bite. I mean, did you have a bite? I had a bite, yeah. I had a bite. I wish you could see this now. Ian's on a bite. This is here. Let's get there, please. Yeah, he's on the two flat. This is probably a white. There's a white more than you, though, isn't it? No, we're not going to catch white in. Mate, my bite's bigger than your white in. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, I can do with some of that. Anyway, I've got me, I've got me, uh, century here. We can do with a bit of, bit of mackerel or something, mate. <laughs> Everybody could do with a bit of mackerel, yeah, mate. Yeah, I get down, mate. It's, um, we're probably fishing in about three foot of water, mate, but we'll give it a go, mate. It's dropping now as well, yeah? Yeah, mate. I might drop on the estuary to be fair, you know. No, where the pier come? Yeah, it's, but when it's half hour drive, I've got the 10 or 15 minute walk back to the car and I've got to pack up. So I'm going to be like 45 yeah, minutes an hour. Come and see us here, we'll be here. Just go see him. We'll down, we'll yeah, as long as you're up, definitely going to be there because I know the water's dropping yeah, already. No, we, we, we've got to give ourselves some tent. Yeah. See how the tide goes, basically, yeah. All right, then, cool. Fishy, I'll just load my rods in. Yeah, alright then, call. Cool. Right, I'm gonna pack up now then, and I'm gonna head over to you, yeah? Alright, see you in a bit, you noddy. In a bit, noddy. Bye. Hey, we're both blankers Bye. anyway. Hey, that's a bite. <laughs> that's a bite, that's a blank. See you in a bit. Ta -ra. Bye. <laughs> we might have something. What? I think we've got something. Really? Wow, that's a big ass yeah. fish, that. We got all the squid back. <laughs> I don't think there's anything around here. It's not even been touched by... Listen, <laughs> that's been out there for another 45 minutes or that. It's not been touched by a white in a crab or two nothing. Hours, all in all, though, yeah, that's still the first bite, that bit there, look. That bit there is still the first bite from like two hours ago. <sighs> We're out of here. It's my fault, I'm bad luck, guys. It is what it is. Right, let's get on the road. Let's go see Michael. <laughs> Michael! Michael! <laughs> Michael! <laughs> Scare the fish away. <laughs> There's no fish to scare away. <laughs> <laughs> Cut! Right, we're just now away to Mike's now. Um, 
Well, not mics, we're just on our way to Pensar now. Um, my hands are freezing, how about yours? I had gloves on, but they smell like yeah. fish, and my hands smell fishy. <laughs> absolutely freezing, I don't know where that's come from, it's like, it's March now. But hands are absolutely numb, so let's go and see Mike, we'll shoot down, we've got about a 40 minute drive, 30, 40 minute drive down the I-55, we'll go and see Mike. Hi. No, not that way, the other, the other, the other shot. Oh. No, from the other camera. The other oh, side. This man. It's my dad. What? He's, he's really protective over his camera. Protective over my camera? I'm making him order me uh, some McDonald's. <coughs> well. <coughs> Ordering Mike I've McDonald's. Just I've just spoke to Mike. <coughs> he's like, can you fit me a coffee up? Yeah, sound. No, he wants two double cheeseburgers. I'm not catching loads of fish. Not only am I blanking, yeah? And his friend. They're catching fish and I'm I'm the gimp dropping their food off, so what are we having? Um, can I just have some cheese bites? Um, can I have two lattes, please? Yeah, medium or large? Uh, medium. Me <laughs> medium, they're not having large, so I've caught too many fish. <laughs> not fast, not fast. Hey, do, do you do small? No, I don't do small. Nah, I've got, definitely got them a small. That's double all that is. Two double cheeseburgers. Thank you, yeah. on here. Thank you. And then, two double cheeseburgers, yeah? Yep. <coughs> chili um, cheese bites and ask if they do milkshakes. Some chili cheese bites? Yep. What milkshake do you want? Ask them if they're doing. You doing milkshakes, yeah? Yep. Uh, chocolate please. <coughs> um, chocolate milkshake, please. A regular. Yep. Regular. Um, <coughs> well, what do I want? I'll go for a double cheeseburger as well, please, mate. Yep. And uh, that's it. Just for that for the boys, thank you. In a bit. Thank you. Oh, you're going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse, kid. <laughs> My glove! Am I still recording? You can record if you want to. Should I tell him we're doing a YouTube video? I'm going to ask him if I can shit in the two lat eyes because I've caught fish. Tell him we're doing a YouTube video. See if it's to say hi. <laughs> you alright? What can we ask for the lat eyes? What can we ask to put in the lat eyes? Nothing. Don't be horrible if I'm not. That's sauce in the eyes. Don't be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, mate. Yeah, that's it. Cheers. Cheers, boss. Thank you much. Take care. Have a nice rest of the night. And you too, buddy. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Right, let's go and get this sugar. Food. Don't forget sugar, okay? You get that from this window. I know. I'm just saying, don't forget. You'll probably still forget. I can't believe I've cut my fishing time short, <laughs> and I'm running around for these who are catching fish. I'm like, oh Webby, get me a latte. Oh Webby, get me a double cheeseburger, Webby. <laughs> oh Webby, I'm in your video. Like and subscribe, Webby. <laughs> I told them a few times to subscribe when you weren't looking, so kept on whispering it to him. <laughs> what do you think, people? Is it bad? You know what? It's I called. Can't hear him. You know what? You know what Mike Shannon's called? That's a bite. Yeah. So I might take a bite out of his burger. <laughs> no, <that'd be> <laughs> and when he opens it, there'll be a big bite missing. He'll go, I'm like, that's a do you bite. Have a pen? That's a bite. That's a bite. Dad the food. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Can I have uh, sugar. six sugar and six milk, please? Why do you need six milk? Because I'll have three each. That's it. We got this. We got it. That's we got nice it. and warm. Fish and trip gone to McDonald's meal. You like it? Come on, let's All for me. Off. And let's see you when we get to the beach of them boys. We're here. Well, here we go. We got the two. What, what we got them? What else have we got from? Double cheeseburgers, yeah? Two double cheeseburgers for them. Two lattes and cheese bites for me. Oh my god, we almost hit the thing at the top. Do you like to keep them going? Yeehaw, mofo! We see the green. Right, where are they? See, look for the two green over there. Last time, so hopefully we don't have to do that again. There are static lights there. With these lighting boys. You know, the bite I was putting out earlier was bigger than what I can catch it. He's the lighting boys. Lighting boys. What's up, lighting boys? <laughs> 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 
Look at this. You good, yeah? There's white in everywhere, look. You good, mate. How are you? Good, right, buddy, yeah? Hello, mate. Good to right. meet you, mate, yeah? That's Ian. Ian. He's, a, he's an Eng England international on the law fishing. Does no, it, right. Is it the street scene? Yeah, street fishing. Street fishing no, right. on the laws and stuff. Just travels around and that. No, he, no, no, he's no, had no. seven whiting tonight on his flapper rigs and mine. Well, so we got it at all. Bits of whiting, basically. So I had half a lobster, that's all I had. <laughs> half a lobster. <laughs> I've got, I've got you some, better than me anyway. I've got some burgers and coffees in there, boys. Uh, I'll do. I'm fishing for rays tonight anyway, so I've got an up and over on the left hand one. Yeah, man. And on the right hand one, I've got basically a, a two up flap, but the, the bottom snood is a lot longer. I'm just trying for, for rays. I know it's early in the year, especially on this mark sort of thing, like, but. But we'll give it a go anyway, you know, you never know what's out there. But at the moment, it's not doing a thing. One bite, that's it. <laughs> you know what you're saying? Right, I'm going up to the car to roll the smoke. I'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. In a bit. It's still heavy. Do you know what a heavy one feels like? I haven't done it in years. <laughs> that was a shared fish, that. <laughs> do, you feel, do you feel bad taking that man's fish? Not really. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a little wider. Nice. Do you, feel that, do you honestly feel as if that's your fish? No. No. Fair play, because that's how it should be. <laughs> Go, Tasker. Go, Tasker. A little knock. Still getting a little knock, but I doubt it. I doubt it. It's me, innit? It's it. It's me. Hold on. Hold on. Could be a oh. Could be a barracuda or something, mate. Yeah, fish on. Hey. <laughs> fish on. I'd say so. Come on, Chavi. Yeah, that's quite. Oh, it's kicking. It's kicking. Kicking. Oh, that's quite heavy. That. Could it be the rain? That's a white in a pair of football boots. <laughs> it's okay. kicking. Yeah, look it. Yeah, kicking. Kicking. Probably just a whiting. But there's a kick. There's a flutter. A little one. There's a little one. What have we got? Ah, look! What you got there, mate? <laughs> well, what do you reckon on that? It looks like a... Fish. 15, 15 pound ray, that, mate. 15 pound ray. Fish ray, mate. More than me tonight. I'll give you that. <laughs> More than me tonight. <laughs> what, what I've done here, as you can see there, on my two-up flapper, I've got my little, my little thingy there on the lug, and I've got a little anti-tangle sleeve. And then straight down from there, we've got this one a longer snood put a bit of decoration on and i've just decorated that i've got a bit of um a bit of razor fish and lug on that one just to try and pick up the ray basically so as the rig's lying like that it's just going to be lower on the deck but but does it look like a ray yeah at least they're not blanked looking? anyway like me <laughs> i've had the burger and i've had on my top hook one right well, go back to the car oh, he's going to have a smoke on i'm out of here yeah Thanks. out of here Bush. Hold on, hold Don't on. Don't let me hang in, mate. Don't let me hang in. Bush. See you in a bit, people. Ta-da. Ah. Well, then, I've had me coffee. I've had me burger, thanks to my good old mate, John Webb. Uh, listen, the camera felt that and, shite, then, because it wobbled. <laughs> and Kizzy. Thank you very much. Me coffee and me sugars and me milk and me stirrer. Yeah, so, yeah, our session, well, well, well some, our, some mine and Kizzy's session up earlier. We went there with our intentions. Beautiful sunset. Lovely deep water. The last two times I've been there, I've had conga, hoss, and you can see them now. I'll probably put them on the screen. No, and now there they are. We went with our intentions, and this person here said, "When the when the water comes, when the flow comes, it's going to rinse you out." I was like, "Nah, it's only a small tide." Well, five he, meter tide, yeah. He was right. Nope, nope, <laughs> won't. Did it will. He was it's right. The swellies, the swellies on that part is this that is the most turbulent part on the Menai, basically. So as soon as it comes through, it hits a series of rocks and stuff, and it just goes absolutely crazy, and it changes like that. 
there's no ups or downs. It's just once it's gone, bang, yeah, straight it down. Yeah, just smashes through, doesn't it? And once it toes through, like it's like he did with the 12 ounce lead, so it just, just no. leaves on the top. And we got battered. Anyway, we come what here. I did say. We come here to see Mike Catcher Whiten. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I can't say anything because that Whiten was more than I've got. Yeah. <laughs> and Ian, I'm watching him now from up here. He's probably had about 15, 16 Whiten. He doesn't do a lot of sea fishing. So it, basically, mate. two up flappers from Rigs and Rods, Anthony Parry, brilliant rigs. May I add? Um, but yeah, he's just put little hooks on and smashed the white all night. For me, I don't particularly want the white in, so it was like try for a ray, basically <laughs> send it and try for it. Which is there's no arm, but then the top hook was on the lug. So basically, yeah, I've had I've had one, but we are in that transition period now where the the the, the white and stuff will start moving out and stuff, and the bigger fish will be yeah, there. Then exactly, we'll be on some basically. Yeah, I said that in my video on the way. We're in that transition yeah. now where stuff's in and out. Yeah. So we're gonna get back. Um, I'm gonna go down there and see how many white and he's caught extra now. I reckon he's probably on. I reckon now he's probably on about 72. About 72, right? <laughs> 72, <laughs> <No. yeah. laughs> right, that's Mr. That's a bite. Subscribe if We're you haven't. Go. I know a lot of you have already. Thank you. But if you haven't, subscribe. No doubt you'll put the link in, won't you? No, I'll put the link in. Right, we're gonna go, mate. Gotta, anyway, thank you very much, John. Thank you very much, kids. Don't, Don't leave me in, mate. <laughs> Cheers, uh, pal. I'll see you all in the next video, people. Safe journey. In a bit, mate. See in you soon. Ta-ra.